Welcome back sa ating FB page na Free Reviewers Managed by Leonalyn at sa ating YouTube channel na Solving Math with Leonalyn. Now, dito na tayo naman sa mga fractions at ito ay galing sa isa sa ating mga followers na pinipm niya ito sa ating FB page. Ito ay mga simpleng fraction lang. Pero ito ay word problems. Number one, Karen sliced a cake into 10 slices. She ate 2 over 10 of it and ate another 4 over 10 of it. How much of the cake did Karen eat? I-add lang natin yan. 2 over 10 plus 4 over 10. Addition of fractions. Sa addition of fraction, dapat pareho yung mga denominators. Pero wala tayong problema dito kasi mga denominators pareho So, kopyahin lang natin yan. Ang i-add natin ay yung mga numerators. 2 plus 4 and this is 6. Itong 6 over 10 ay masimplify pa natin yan by finding the greatest common factor. Meron tayong iba't ibang ways sa paghahanap ng greatest common factor. Para sa detalye, pwede nyo i-search. Greatest common factor doon sa ating YouTube channel. At idugtong lang yung lunalin para mas madaling ma-sort out yung dati na nating na-upload regarding sa paghahanap ng greatest common factor. So, ang greatest common factor dito ay 2. 6 divided by 2 and this is 3. 10 divided by 2 and this is 5. So, ang sagot dito ay 3 fifth. Isa pang paraan doon tayo sa kanto style way sa pag-solve nito. So, gagawa tayo ng kunwari cake na hatiin natin sa sampo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 10 na yan. She ate 2 over 10. So, this is 1, 2. Yan yung 2 over 10. Next. She ate another 4 over 10. So, we have 1, 2, 3. 3, 4. So, ito yung another 4 over 10. Ang tanong, how much of the cake did Karen eat? So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 over yung total na slices, 10. So, 6 over 10, masimplify natin yan and that is equal to 3, 5. Next, number two. You bought a ball of yarn. You used six over seventeen of the yarn and gave five over seventeen to your friend. How much of the yarn was used? Six over seventeen. Iad natin yung binigay niya sa friend niya na five over seventeen. Sa addition of fractions, is pareho na yung denominator. Kopyahin lang natin yung seventeen. Sa numerator natin, 6 plus 5, and this is 11. Si 11 over 17, hindi na natin yan masimplify kasi ang greatest common factor dyan ay 1 lang din naman. So, ito na yung sagot. 11 over 17. Next, number 3. Kristen put 8 over 20 kilos of apple into a basket. Chris put 7 over 20 kilos of oranges and... Vlad placed 4 over 20 kilos of mangoes into the same basket. How many kil kilograms of fruits were put inside the basket? So, i-add lang din natin yan siya. We have 8 over 20 plus 7 over 20 plus 4 over 20. Madali na lang kasi lahat ay pariho yung denominator. So, sa addition of fractions, since pareho na yung denominator, kopyahin lang natin yung 20. Numerators natin, 8 plus 7, 15 plus 4, and that is 19. Now, this is 19 over 20, so simplified na yan siya, so ito na yung sagot. 19 over 20. Next, number 4. Jorda is baking. She used. Two third cup of flour for her pie and one third cup for the cake. How much flour did she use all in all? 
So, meron siyang two-third cup. Ginam gumamit din siya ng one-third cup. So, pareho lang yung denominator. Wala tayong problema dyan. Kopyahin lang yung three na denominator. Yung numerator. Two plus one and that is three. Itong three over three, three over three, that is equal to one. So, therefore, ang sagot dito ay one cap. Next, number 5. You gave 13 over 28 of pan of brownies to jam and 11 over 28 to Keith. Keith, ewan ko kung paano yan pronounce. How much of the pan brownies did you give away? So, binigay niya yung 13 over 28. I-add natin sa binigay Sa isa na 11 over 28. Sa additional fraction, basta pareho lang yung denominator. Wala na tayong problema dyan. Kopyahin lang yung denominator na 28. Yung numerator is natin 13 plus 11 and this is 24. Now itong 24 over 28. Kailangan natin yung simplify by finding the greatest common factor. Ang greatest common factor dito ay 4. 24 divided by 4 and this is 6. 28 divided by 4 and this is 7. So, ang sagot dito, 6 over 7. For more examples sa mga fractions, pwede niyong search fraction. Idugtong lang yung leonalin para mas madaling ma-sort out yung dati na natin na upload regarding sa mga fractions. Thank you for watching and all I hope mayroon kayo natutunan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.